It's certainly unusual to have three years of La Niña's in a row. Um, and we're still not great at predicting how ENSO, which is the El Nino Southern Oscillation, um, changes looking forward a, a few months at a time. Um, but it, it does seem, I mean, I don't know if someone has been looking at trends in the frequency of La Niña's versus El Nino's, but one thing I can say is that I think we're gonna be in big trouble when the next big El Nino comes along because usually La Nina years, more energy is absorbed into the ocean because we've got all that cold water sitting out in the equatorial Pacific. And so that tends to absorb more of the heat from the atmosphere and puts it in the ocean. And then when an El Nino comes along, a lot of that extra heat is put back in the atmosphere. And you can think back to how the global temperature has been changing in the last couple of years during these La Nina years. And it has been very close to breaking the record uh, for global temperature. So when we think about the next El Nino, it's like, oh dear. <laughs> uh, usually our warmest years are during El Ninos. And so I think the next El Nino is going to be uh, very scary indeed.